Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial describes how to navigate the TAP dashboard. Targeted Attack Protection, or TAP, includes a web-based graphical dashboard that provides data at organizational, threat, and user levels to help prioritize and act on alerts. The dashboard displays detailed forensic information on individual threats and campaigns in real time. In reviewing the TAP dashboard, the email button identifies and displays threats which may affect your organization. A filter box allows you to limit the results displayed in the table directly below. To the right of the filter box, a CSV file can be downloaded for grouped threats. This file contains the same information visible in the All Threat table below. Threats are divided into tabs labeled All Threats, Highlighted, At Risk, and Impacted. The Threat Name column indicates whether the threat is individual or part of a campaign. The Type column displays the type of threat, either Attachment, URL, or Imposter. The latest activity shows when the activity related to a threat was observed. Activities include messages blocked or delivered, as well as clicks blocked or permitted. The selected universal time zone is also displayed. Intended users are those who have received messages relating to a particular campaign or threat. At-risk users are those who are at risk of exploitation, either because they have received a malicious attachment or an unrewritten malicious URL. Impacted users are those who have been directly exposed to a threat, as well as impacted by a false positive. The spread refers to the number of Proofpoint customers who have been sent at least one instance of a particular threat within their email traffic. Finally, the highlighted column gives special attention to the notable threats, vertical targeted threats, geography or geo-targeted threats, and threats targeted at VIPs. The Reports button displays a statistical overview of TAP's effectiveness over a period of time. Reports are divided into Effectiveness, Landscape, and Organization. The drop-down filter allows you to select a date range of up to one year with a default of 30 days. There is also an option to select any one of three reports for printing. Reports can also be downloaded as a CSV file. The search button allows you to find individual threats and campaigns based on specified criteria. The Tools button can be used in conjunction with the URL Defense Service. The URL Decoder tool allows you to translate a rewritten link to the original link. With the Settings button, you can perform various site-wide configuration tasks. For Privileges, you can define which users can access the Threat Insight dashboard as well as select their privilege level. The Custom Block List is a customer-defined set of URLs which are blocked. In the event that an attempt is made to visit a block-listed site, the user will be served a block page. The Connected Applications allows you to define sets of credentials which are used to authenticate to Proofpoint's Application Program Interfaces, or API. You can define as many sets of credentials as you need for different purposes. The Palo Alto Network's Wildfire integration allows you to configure attachment defense when submitting your documents to the Wildfire Cloud malware scanning solution. The Organization tab allows you to define which verticals your organization participates in, as well as customizing the block page. You can also define VIP users in your organizations. This feature allows you to quickly identify threat activity associated with certain individuals. If any of the numbers become at risk or impacted by a given threat, a red VIP icon will appear in the highlighted column on the landing page to indicate that the threat requires immediate attention.